Hello my YouTube gang and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Cyprian Msangi and today as you can see on the screen, I'm going to help you people get started with PostgreSQL. Now, there are very many DBs out there, but believe me, PG is one of the best one of them and you wouldn't want to miss out on this tutorial because I will be explaining why you should use it, the benefits of using it, how to get started and some of its 1001 cool features that it comes along with it. There might be many other tutorials out there about PostgreSQL, but believe me, this is one of the best YouTube videos that will help you get started. And in case of any problems, you can always ask in the comment section and I will be more than willing to assist. Before we continue to the second part of this video, I would like to ask you people to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click at the notification bell so that you don't miss out to any of the videos that I will be subsequently posting of this one. And again, if you find this video useful after watching, kindly share it to your friends and like too. See you then. So friends, welcome to the second part of this video tutorial. And if you have ever visited postgres.org website and you have observed Kingly, you will see that there are a lot of elephants images on that website. So why? Is it because elephants are big and elegant animals? Not really. Elephants tend not to forget anything. And the last thing that a database can do for you is forget about your data. And that's why Postgres is here. So we can start by asking ourselves, what is PGSQL? Well, PGSQL is a powerful open source object relational database system that uses and extends the SQL language combined with many features that safely store and scale the most complicated data workloads. The origins of PGSQL dates back to 1986 as part of PG project at the University of California at Berkeley and has more than 30 years of active development on the core platform. Okay, there are so many other details about what is PG. You can browse that website and go check for yourself. So why use PGSQL? Okay. PGSQL comes with many features aimed to help developers build applications and administrators to protect data integrity and build fault tolerant environments and help you manage your data no matter how big or small the dataset is. In addition to being free and open source, PGSQL is highly extensible. For example, you can define your own data type, build out custom functions, overwrite code from different programming languages without recompiling your database and many more. So, to the main thing, we have the features found in PGSQL. There is data types, we have primitive, structured, document, geometry, customizations, then there is data integrities, there is the unique, the not null, primary keys, foreign keys, exclusion constraints, explicit look, locks, and advisory locks. We have concurrency and performance, that is indexing, advanced indexing, sophisticated query planner and optimizer, transactions, multiversion concurrency, parallelization, table partitioning, and all transactions that isolates level defined in SQL standard, including serial, serial, serializable. And uh, we also have uh, JIT, which, is, which means just in time. So we also have, it is very reliable and uh, you can easily discover your disaster. We have write head logging, we have replication, point in time recovery and table spaces. We also have security, that is authentication, robust access control system, column and row level security, multi-factor authentication with certificates and additional method. We also have, it is... Uh, very extensible, it can store functions and procedures, procedural languages, that is SQ, that is a PG, SQL, PAL, Python, and many more. We have foreign data wrappers, we have a customizable storage interface for the tables, many extensions that provide additional functionality, including postages. So we have also internationalism, text search that is support for international character sets, e.g. through ICU collections. We have case insensitive and accent insensitive collections, full text search, and many more. So, in short, that is the 
few features of PGSQL and uh, that marks the end of this particular tutorial. You can check more on PGSQL about PGSQL on their website. I'll leave the link down there so that you can go and check on more about PGSQL, read the documentation and probably we'll come back there in tutorial number two where I'll be teaching you on how to install it and many more other features. So without uh, further ado, I would like you people to continue subscribing to my channel, like and share this video because we are about to learn very nice things about PGSQL. So welcome.